here's how to find your most productive work hours. Not all working hours are created equal, and nobody should really be expected to be 100% productive throughout their work day. Luckily, with the pandemic, we've seen a cultural shift, and a lot of businesses and people are okay with not working the traditional time to five. We all have different times when we're our most productive. In this video, I'm going to be explaining exactly how you can identify your peak productive hours and use this time to improve your productivity and work quality. Remember, it's all about getting more done with less stress. Okay, so right off the bat, for the majority of people, the most productive day of the week is Tuesday, and it's followed really closely by Monday. And of course, Thursday and Friday are typically the least productive work days. I personally don't usually work on Friday because I almost never get it. So those are days that you can keep in mind when you're thinking about your own productivity. But now let's talk about how to boost productivity with your own personalized time management system. First things first, we have to understand that working more won't really make you more productive. A lot of times, if we don't meet our deadlines during regular work hours like 9 to 5, some of us will work evenings and weekends to catch up, but this is a huge mistake. And this mistake is really, really, really prevalent in finding your most productive hours are to pay attention to your daily habits. To improve your productivity, you have to take advantage of your personal focus pattern. So a lot of us will find that we are the most productive in the morning, and a lot of us will see that right before bed or right before you know, midnight, we are ready to get things done. So really stay in tune with who you are for this part. Again, everybody's focus cycle is different. So within this step, here are some really good practices for discovering when you're in your most productive. So make sure that you monitor yourself during the day. Start by paying close attention to your daily habits and record your energy and focus levels throughout the day. You might want to start with just the morning, afternoon, and night. For example, you probably already know if you're an early bird or a night owl based on when you feel the most alert and attentive. Okay, so in your notes, make sure that you take note of when you feel most focused note of when you feel thrown off course. Maybe you feel thrown off course when you get a bunch of emails or you open up your mail for the day. Or maybe if you sleep in, the rest of your day is a struggle to get through. Also, if you skip something like breakfast or a walk, just note if it affects your productivity for the rest of the day. This is going to set a really good foundation for you to create really good routines around your time management and productivity The other thing you can do is ask your friends or classmates or family members about their opinions on when they see you being most productive. The people closest to you probably observe a lot better than you can your peak energy and focus hours, and they can definitely start to see when you're struggling, especially if you're in a classroom or office setting. Make sure when you're looking for feedback on your work patterns or work level, you go to somebody who's trusted and that actually cares about you being productive. Okay, the other thing you can do is kind of your productivity and focus. So what do I mean by this? You can keep a journal about what you accomplish throughout your workday and the times that you accomplish it. This is going to be an easy, easy way for you to identify your productivity highs and lows. And try it and track this for a week or even two, and it'll give you a really good baseline. Okay, that was a long step two, but it's really, really important to set the foundation. Now step three is to determine what's draining your time. This is almost as important as what you are putting your time towards. So this step is really all about getting to understand what's holding you back from getting your work done. We know that productivity is really all about time management, but not everybody is good at it naturally. That's why you have to ask yourself if the following time management obstacles really affect you and your productivity. So let's go through them. First up, are you setting priorities? Not setting priorities can really drag down your productivity something that drains your energy if you don't know where to focus. One really great way to overcome this is to take a few moments in the morning and or the night before to really prioritize your family tasks 
books, your work tasks, and any other projects you have on the go. With this prioritization, you can tackle your most important products when you're the most productive. So remember you have that baseline, you have an idea of when you can get these really important tasks done. The next thing to determine is, are you just surrounded by distractions? Maybe you have your kids at home, or your phone is always out beside you, or you're in an office setting and there are a bunch of people in the middle. And the distractions don't always have to be Let's get into how to effectively manage for each task. Okay, so understanding your task scope and how much time it's gonna take is important because if you don't, it can lead to you not being prepared and it can lead to pushed back deadlines. So when you're planning for something, just take a moment to kind of assess the project scope. If you've done a project like this before, go back and see how long it took you to complete it and then dedicate the appropriate amount of time to it. Typically, if you think something's going to take you an hour and it took you an hour before, allocate an hour and a half to that task. The next thing to keep in mind is asking yourself, am I prone to procrastination? I know I am, so this is not a bad thing to do. Now, the first thing that's helped me to overcome procrastination is to really understand how it affects you. So think about if you've put up projects in the past and just avoid specific situations, or are they specific tasks? the last minute. This is really, really important to understand about yourself. If any of those two things apply to you, I recommend using productivity apps that can help you stay focused and organized. Things like Notion, Sansama, or Todoist are really, really great, and I'll make sure that I leave the link for them in the description below. The other thing to understand about yourself is if you multitask too much. Now remember, multitasking doesn't help anybody get anything done. Too much multitasking means that you're probably not paying to any one task and that means you're not really getting any task done properly. Now that you understand when you're your most productive and what's turning your productivity and what's holding you back, you can plan your schedule and find your best and most productive hours. First of all, plan your most productive time with care. Make sure that your most important tasks are scheduled for your key productivity hours. Next, batch your time consuming but still important tasks like especially if you're in a management position. I really like to time block my emails and meetings, and that's something that you can probably do too to improve your productivity. Next, plan all of your tasks according to your energy levels. For example, if you find that you're emotionally drained after client meetings, avoid working on high priority projects that require your attention right after a meeting. The other thing to do is to schedule breaks and wellness into your day and also into your entire year. I have a video on how I schedule my own wellness days throughout the year, so go ahead and take a look at that. But really schedule breaks during your day if that's going to help boost your productivity. So two things to really schedule into the day that I want to emphasize is an exercise break and a healthy meal break. If you really can't get exercise in, just schedule some time to stretch or just take a walk around your house or the office. Now, you should be experimenting with different work patterns to create the most effective work day for you. It's taken me six months to find my absolute peak productive work hours and plan and schedule around that. And you also have to remember that not every day is going to be the same, but each day can have a well thought out productivity plan. Remember, working longer hours isn't going to directly correlate to getting more work done. In fact, the most effective approach is knowing your peak performance hours and then using them effectively. So take your time, give yourself grace, and I hope that you are more productive. Bye.